Good morning. Don't be a dummy and fall for all those ads on television showing these very cool people in these nice apartments with their very expensive high-tech equipment getting their exercise every day, walking on a treadmill, going on the elliptical, using the Bowflex. I think it's ridiculous people pay, paying a lot of money for their exercise and most of the people who fall for those expensive items never use them, I hate to say. Oh, they might have a week of really getting into their exercise and then it starts slipping away. And the next thing you know, they got $2,000 worth of equipment and they aren't using it. And it's just piling up around the house, getting in people's way. And finally, <laughs> they sell it or take it to the thrift store where I might buy it for pennies on the dollar and sell it to somebody just a little smarter for one or two or three hundred dollars. And they're still making payments. <laughs> I think it's ridiculous to buy those high dollar exercise pieces of equipment. You could hurt yourself on a treadmill. I knew a lady who put herself pretty much permanently out of action, falling off a treadmill. They're dangerous. What I'm using here is a gazelle. And it is not in the best of shape, but it keeps me in the best of shape. It rides smoothly just like a dream. The pedals are cracked, but I put tape around them and they work just fine, thank you. There are no squeaks, because if one ever comes about, I get WD-40, find the squeak, and silence it quickly. So, why is my gazelle better than your $3,000 treadmill? Well. You're not likely to fly off of this going 80 miles an hour. It's more fun. You can do strength exercises. You can really get an upper body workout with a gazelle that I don't think you're going to find on your treadmill. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you my treadmill up close, tell you what I do, and then I'm going to tell you about the rest of my exercise that doesn't cost a thing. How much did my gazelle cost? I have purchased many of these and resold them uh, for a considerable profit. This one, since it was not in great shape, Though it is in great shape, if you know what I mean, it works perfectly. Cosmetically, it has some issues. What did I pay for this? I have paid as little as $2 for a gazelle at a thrift store. You can buy them on Craigslist, or you can buy them on Facebook Marketplace. Well, I've got an almost new one over here. I got for $20. So, you can get your gazelle and don't buy a new one. There's no point, don't buy a new one. There's no point for most people. The used ones, even the ones knocked up a bit, work just fine. It's the world's most perfect exercise equipment. What I pay for this? Probably $5. This one is 
is the freestyle. It has a little thicker construction here than the, the Gazelle Edge. The Gazelle Edge works fine. This one has a, a little piece of equipment here you can hook up to make your workout even more strenuous. But that's not necessary. It can be as strenuous as you want. just by using it without that connected. This is an important part of your exercise equipment. I get on the gazelle and fly for 10 minutes a day before I begin the rest of my exercise. Very nice, dirty for sure, but in perfect condition to give me a great workout. Now this one, much, much nicer. The display actually works. This is Sprint Master. Again, if you have a choice, try to get the thicker ones, but that's not necessary unless you're very, very heavy. Yes, you can see that these were broken, but I've taped them together. They work just fine. By the way, these have wheels, and they are cumbersome to, to lug around the house unless you learn the technique of carrying them. But once you get them in place, they are rock solid. And as you see on a rug, even without the little rubber deal down here, this thing is very sturdy. Now you don't even have to have a gazelle to get your aerobic workout. There are probably 10,000 videos on YouTube that will show ladies working out, pumping it up, standing in place basically. Look at Jillian's videos, for example. There's one called Six Pack Abs. You will totally wear yourself out in 10 minutes. Much better exercise than what you get on the treadmill and safer too. Let's go inside and I'll show you my other secret. So you've gotten your 10 minutes of aerobic exercise with some strength mixed in on the gazelle. There's actually a lot of strength the way that I do it, pumping and going on the gazelle. But that's first a method to build up your heart, get your heart going, get your, your lungs and everything working, making yourself hot, if you know what I mean. So you've done that for 10 minutes. Now what do you do for the next 30 minutes? This is a 40 minute workout. It would work very nicely in 20 minutes, I do believe. I mean, in 30 minutes total, I believe if you wanted to do it in just 30 minutes, you may have to work up to this anyway. But I do 10 minutes, uh, very fast exercise, and then I do 30 minutes of yoga. So, there is where the action occurs now in my music room on this mat. How do you do yoga so that it doesn't hurt you and actually helps you and makes you feel great? And yoga provides and can provide aerobic exercise. It can provide strength exercise. It can provide mostly flexibility exercise, which at this point in my life, I need more than any other. So how do I do yoga? That is the simplest thing. I will put a link to a video on YouTube. It's called Dixie Carter's Unworkout 2, I think. Something like that. It shows Dixie Carter back in the day looking fine, feeling great, doing yoga. 
and I do the evening routine, which is 20 minutes. Now, after I watched the video a few times, then I made a list of yoga postures to do that she had. I did though I listed them in order, so I didn't have to watch the video. It's kind of awkward to watch video while you're exercising, but if you keep a list handy, then you can do it and it works just fine without watching the video. These are the exercises I do. And these are the ones that she does in order. I may add one or two of my own exercises in here. Like I could do the up dog and also I do the down dog, which is a little more strength. And I also add, uh, you could add at that point, salutations to the sun push-ups or whatever you need to do. But basically, I do the whole list and add, and I add whatever else I want to. But I do that list in the order, and that's important because you don't want to hurt yourself and you really need to go through the whole uh, routine. Don't just focus on one exercise. I set the timer for 30 minutes and after I've done 10 minutes on the gazelle working up to speed on the gazelle I do start slow for the first couple of minutes and then I come in here and do Dixie Carter unworkout yoga unworkout two yoga I'm done <laughs> I have done a great exercise my cost was very low, I must say, or nothing, and I feel like I've done something. Now, if your goal is primarily to lose weight, then you've got to work on your eating as hard or more than you do on your exercise. You will never be able to exercise enough to really lose weight unless you work on your eating and so there are two things there together but you can certainly do the exercise cheaply and enjoyably with lots of variety getting aerobic strength and flexibility exercise in all one exercise routine you can do it in your home without taking out a loan Thanks for watching.